Who says that small and cheap cars can't become legends? With more than 16 million units sold in the last three decades, the Renault Clio is easily one of the most iconic small hatchbacks around. But its legendary status exceeds its commercial success because Clio has always been much more than just a strong seller. It has always been the front runner in this highly competitive segment, setting new standards, whether it's about style, interior functionality, or performance. The current fifth generation was refreshed last summer, and several months later, it's time to give a verdict. Is the new 2024 Renault Clio a worthy successor? Is it still a small car with big impressions? Stay with us and find out! When the current generation was introduced five years ago, it brought significant changes compared to its predecessor. The significantly updated platform made Clio capable of adopting new technologies, including electrification. Still, we think the biggest upgrade was in terms of the substance rather than the form. Yes, the new generation looked great, but more importantly, it was more refined than ever, with a mature overall layout ready to check every important box in this tricky car segment. The styling was great too, but a few years later, it became obvious that Renault needed to update its popular hatchback to keep pace with fancy-looking rivals like the Peugeot 208. And the new face is here, modern and attractive. Naturally, the biggest changes are at the front, with a significant departure from the pre-facelifted model with the adaption to the brand's latest design language, characterized by narrower headlights, more prominent LED daytime running lights, and, finally, a way more futuristic grille design with Renault's new easily recognizable 3D pattern. Styling-wise, the Clio is once again miles ahead of its direct rivals, such as the soon-to-be discontinued Fiesta or the super dull Volkswagen Polo. As mentioned, the current generation brought all kinds of upgrades, making the Clio a way more rounded vehicle than before. Of course, the most important thing was the new platform, the so-called CMFB architecture, which opened a whole new spectrum of possibilities. Interestingly, while other classmates were getting bigger, the fifth-generation Clio kept similar dimensions as the fourth-generation. On the other hand, it brought substantial changes. We already talked about electrification, but more important were those upgrades in terms of the chassis and suspension setup, which finally put the Clio on par with its rivals in terms of ride quality, which was one of the weakest points of the previous generations. The fifth generation finally dropped rear drum brakes, while the rear suspension was now semi-independent, which allowed the new model to be both more engaging and more comfortable than before. And, of course, the updated version continues in the same way, offering the same setup and pretty much the same ride quality, which definitely stands out when compared to the classmates. A decent level of athleticism is complemented by precise and well-weighted steering. At the same time, the ride is comfortable enough to put it in line with the most refined models in the class. The era of cheap and funky-looking interiors is gone, and customers now demand posh cabins even in this quite affordable segment. And that's exactly what Clio delivered. Renault has never been famous for the interior quality of its models, but this Clio is a completely different story. The cabin definitely looks like it belongs to some upper-class sedan rather than a B-segment hatch. The dashboard features elegant curves and an attractive overall shape, complemented by integrated air vents and a lot of metal effect details. The cabin is now made mostly from soft plastics, while the level of attention to detail is pretty much the same as in the case of the more expensive VW Polo. Good build quality and nice materials are followed by a decent number of advanced tech goodies starting from decently sized infotainment screens. While base models get a 7-inch unit, higher trim levels benefit from a new 9.3-inch screen that brings better graphics and also feels more intuitive. The system is good, though far from the best on the market, as most rivals offer infotainment systems with faster response. Thankfully, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration are there to make your life much easier. Once you integrate your smartphone, 
you'll enjoy the surprisingly high level of comfort this small hatchback offers. At the front row, there's a decent amount of headroom and knee room, while the steering wheel offers a lot of adjustments, so it's pretty easy to find a good driving position. Furthermore, seats are among the better in the class, so you may even enjoy longer journeys, even though Clio is primarily meant for urban rides. Speaking of longer journeys, the Clio is reasonably quiet at higher speeds. The sound insulation is very good, and probably the only thing to complain about is a little bit more tire noise than you get from rivals. The second row is typically tight for the segment, though we really like that the back doors open almost at a right angle, so the access is super easy. Then there's the cargo area, which can be the smallest or largest in the class depending on the engine choice. If you pick the base petrol version, you may count on quite impressive 391 liters behind the second row, which is probably the highest rating in the class. Unfortunately, things drastically change with the hybrid version, which offers around 300 liters of space, less than you get in the Fiesta, 208, or Polo. Besides the aforementioned screens, the Clio has a lot more to offer, no matter the trim level. Even the most basic models don't lack visual appeal, as they come standard with 16-inch alloy wheels and full LED headlights. Furthermore, the list of standard equipment also includes automatic windscreen wipers, keyless start, automatic climate control, and rear parking sensors. For those willing to pay more, Renault offers upgrades in terms of bigger wheels, leather steering wheels, wireless charging, rear-view camera, and parking sensors. Finally, range-topping versions bring the aforementioned bigger infotainment screen, along with convenience features like a heated steering wheel, heated front seats, and adaptive cruise control. Europe leads the world when it comes to electrification and imposing strict emissions rules which forced Renault to reduce its powertrain offer significantly with the 2020 Ford Clio. In many European countries, you cannot get the good old 1.5-liter DCI anymore. That's a real shame, because that wonderful turbo diesel, famous for its refinement, fuel efficiency, and reliability, was one of Clio's strongest points. Now the focus is on electrification, and in Clio's case, that's a new hybrid system based on a 1.6-liter petrol engine, which puts out quite a respectable 145 horsepower, enough to ensure strong performance both in city and open road, while maintaining respectable fuel economy at the same time. In numbers, the electrified Clio hits 62 in a little bit over 9 seconds, while the fuel economy goes up to 67 miles per gallon or 3.6 liters per 100 kilometers if you prefer metrics. In the UK, as well as a few more European countries, there's also a choice of super affordable, gas-only version based on a small 1.0-liter three-cylinder unit. However, even those with the tiniest bit of enthusiasm won't be happy with it due to the max output of 90 horsepower and not particularly precise manual transmission. In some markets where emission standards are still relatively loose, Renault still offers the iconic 1.5 DCI, though in just one variant, with 110 horsepower. If you're lucky enough to live in one of these countries, this old and proven turbo diesel is a natural choice thanks to a great mix of performance, refinement, and fuel efficiency. So, driving dynamics largely depend on the powertrain choice. The entry-level petrol needs over 12 seconds to hit 62, while the hybrid hits it in 9.3. But in both cases, you may count on a quite satisfying driving experience, as the fifth-generation Clio feels incredibly mature behind the wheel. It's composed and refined, with more engaging handling than most rivals, which doesn't compromise comfort all that much. The Clio is on the firm side, but it's more than adequate for a relaxed ride. Of course, the exact pricing depends on the market, as well as on the engine choice. A good thing to know is that the 2024 Renault Clio remains more affordable than most of its key rivals. The base version, equipped with a three-cylinder petrol engine, starts at around £17,000 in the UK, while the hybrid version can hardly be found for less than £21,000. The same thing goes for most European makers, where the base petrol versions usually start around 16,000 or 17,000 euros. 
What do you think of the new 2024 Renault Clio? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.